Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. Today I have a bit of sad news, but first I want to explain the process we follow once the birds are moved outside. The birds have spent the last week in the mobile tractor. Here we are moving the tractor forward slowly, allowing the birds to move forward without any injury. Once the tractor is on a fresh bed of grass, the move is complete. How often you move the mobile tractor depends on the number of birds you have and the amount of poop that is being generated. But once you have poop accumulated on the grass, you want to move it to a fresh bed. You can see the accumulation on the bottom right side of the screen. These birds are lazy, so we do not want them lying in their own waste all day. Once on the fresh grass, the chickens begin to play. Experts who have been doing this for a long time recommend putting the birds on a 12-hour feeding regimen after the first week or so. However, we waited a little longer. Cornish cross will eat themselves to death if you allow them. Just make sure they have enough fresh water all the time. Now for the bad news. The chicks were placed outside last Sunday. There were signs the next morning of an animal trying to get inside the mobile tractor. So naturally, I wanted to know what was happening at night. Therefore, a trail cam was placed outside the mobile tractor to, the, to identify the animal. We brought the trail cam in to check the footage the following day and found no activity. However, we neglected to put the trail cam up that evening. Whatever it was that failed to get in the mobile tractor the first night was successful on the third and it killed all the chickens in the first mobile tractor, which meant we lost half of our meat birds in one night. I was extremely disappointed for not setting up the camera and for allowing a weak entry point to the mobile tractor. You see, there was a string holding the door shut. I should have used something more secure. Listen, things happen on the farm and homestead, and that's the way it is. But I normally do my due diligence in protecting the animals on the homestead. For example, when I built the stationary chicken coop, I dug several inches beneath the surface of the soil to extend the hard wire fence. I also bent the fence 90 degrees to extend it a foot away from the coop to deter any animals from digging under the fence to get inside the pen of the coop. The lesson here is know the animals in your area and do your best to protect the animals on your farm or homestead. So what's next? Get over what happened and move on. My husband added more security on the second mobile tractor. We make sure to set up the trail cam each night to validate what we think we know the animal is. If it comes back, we trap it, but so far we have not seen any traces of it. And finally, I wasted no time placing a second order of meat birds. I seriously hope that you check out the next video to understand why there was no delay in ordering a second batch.